Well, whether it's an aging parent, a child living with a disability, or a chronically ill friend, the people who step in to care for them don't have an easy job ahead of them. Yet taking care of those who need you is one of the most important roles you'll ever play. Thankfully, Gabby Hoeing and Haley Vick are here to help. As part of the Core Cares team, they know firsthand the challenges of caregiving, and they have the resources to support you in that journey. So ladies, go, uh, glad to have you both here with us today. Hey, Gabby, let's start with you first. So for someone that might need additional care in the home, um, explain what caregiving is. Caregiving is really caring for anyone's physical or emotional needs in the home. Could be, you know, housekeeping, household chores, could be helping someone with a shower, could be transporting to, the, to a doctor's appointment. Just general activities of daily living. So it's a lot of different things that, that you can help people with. Yes. And so are the, are, do the people that, when they, who's help deciding that that individual might need that help? Are we typically finding the individual says, you know what, I just can't do these things anymore? Or is it some other friend or family member that you're typically seeing with? Haley, what do you, what do you find? Um, typically it is um, the adult children or family members of the person. Um, it can also be a friend that care takes for them or a health care provider. And that's, uh, I mean, I'm sitting here thinking it. The individual probably says, no, I can still do these yeah. things. And so that's probably got to be the hardest part of working with the individual by saying, you know, we need to transition you in life. And their mind still says, I can run around the block, but right. I, I physically can't anymore. So how do you help work through that process with the individual? So sometimes we start with the family member or whoever inquired or calls our office about services. And we do a little coaching over the phone of some things they might want to talk to their loved one about. And then we always offer to come to the home and provide like a free in-home consultation. And we can just address, you know, what are the needs in the home? What are the different op options for addressing those needs? And what can we provide to assist them in living their vision for life? So with that individual, you meet with that individual and they say, well, I don't, I don't want that person coming in. I don't like that person. I don't connect with them. So then how do you handle that? Yeah, sometimes, you know, we're, we're working with a variety of different personalities on the client side and the caregiver side. And so we want to make a good connection and we want the, care, the client to feel good and about the care that we're receiving and really connect well with that caregiver. So we're willing to kind of shuffle people around and try different caregivers until a good connection is made. And so do you typically see once that's done that the, the individual getting the help is more accepting to the help or what do you find? Oh yes, so at first they might be really resistant but once they find that caregiver that just speaks to them, um, they really enjoy the services and are truly grateful for being able to stay in their own home. So Haley, you come, uh, you've got an interesting story because you're kind of new to, the, to, this, to this industry. So kinda give us your story and where you came from. Um, so it started my sophomore year of college. I was looking for a job. Um, my sister uh, had actually just started working for a home care agency here in Sioux Falls. Um, she told me to apply for the caregiver position. Um, it sounded like a good job with flexible hours, so I um, took on the role. I went into um, my first client's home, and I was a little overwhelmed by the situation. It was a little difficult for me at first to um, to get used to caring for someone and all of the tasks that we do in the home. But then the more I did it, the more I um, kept coming back and getting to know the client and the family, it became um, important for me as well to take care of them. And so a job, you know, that I thought I would last two weeks in at the beginning has become like a career for me. Yeah, so how, how cool is that? Because, I mean, you, you see typically, and tell me if I'm wrong on this, but people that are caregivers, sometimes to be naturally just born into it, they just like to care pe for people. Mm -hmm. Did you see yourself like that when no. you started? No, not at all. <laughs> wow. And so if somebody wanted to consider a career in this, what would you say to them today? Um, it's definitely a rewarding career, and it is worth it. That's that simple. Yeah. It's just yeah. A, I mean, wait. So, I mean, your life obviously has probably opened up like you never thought before. Yep, for sure. So, Gabby, you guys have got uh, a lot of community ed stuff coming up, some things right. to help people transition into the possibility of, of in-home care. 
And so let's run through those because there's a lot of them we want to make sure that we talk about the different subject matters that, uh, that you're, you're going to be talking about. Right. We have created um, a variety of different educational opportunities for both family and professional caregivers to really support their overall well-being. So we'll kick off our education event on Thursday, October 4th from noon to 1. And Abby O'Hara will be speaking about bringing balance to your budget because we know financial factors can always be a, a stressor to uh, um, both professional and family caregivers. Yeah, because it's an additional cost now to bring right. this in. Right. Yeah. Yep. And then we will move to introdu Introduction to Crucial Conversations for Caregivers on October 18th from noon to 1. That's presented by Haley Samuelson, and that really covers, you know, when emotions are high, stakes are high, how do you have those critical conversations? Give me an example of a critical conversation, like one thing. Oh, man, it could be so many. Even just, you know, talking to people about receiving care or sure. maybe even a feedback you get from a client and how do you accept that feedback and move forward because yeah. sometimes it can be kind yeah. of critical. Okay, next um, one. November 1st from 12 to 1 we'll have Jill Gabbert speaking about communi communicating with clients who have dementia. Um, we are seeing a huge increase in the number of people who have dementia. Yeah. So going through the stages of dementia and how we properly care for those who have dementia. Sure. And then the next one, we got two of them. Yes. So actually, it's gonna, it's the same event, two different days, November 12th from three to four, and then November 15th from 12 to one, supporting ourselves and others during the end of life, and that will be presented by a Sarah Care Hospice. Okay. And then we've got uh, one more. Is that right? Yes. So the final one will yeah. be on November 26th from three to four. And that will be building resiliency in your professional life and understanding emotional health. Wow, a lot of a lot of stuff you're going to cover. Holy yes. cow. I mean, all good stuff because we all need it, right? Right. So we know that all of that affects our overall well-being, and we really want to care for yeah. the caregivers and give them the proper support so they can be successful in yeah. what they do. Gabby Haley, appreciate you coming in today and sharing your stories, and yeah. good to good to talk about this again. So, thank you. Hey, if you'd like to find out more about how Core Cares can help you or someone you care for, give them a call at 605-275-2344 or check out their resources online at corecares.com or corecares on Facebook. They have a complete list of frequently asked questions online and we'll be happy to answer any of the questions that you might have. And the education events are limited to just 20 people each. So to RSVP, call Core Cares at 605-275-2344. If you'd like to learn more about these events, go to their Facebook page and click on the events tab. They hope to see you there.